What's happening guys, Veggie here. Let me just show you what I've been watching today. Hodge twins are now vegetarians. Now they're currently following a semi-vegetarian diet of no chicken, red meat or eggs, and they only consume seafood, dairy, tofu, and other vegetarian foods. Back to me. All right, I've been following Hodge twins for a long time. Um, of course, ever since I've been vegetarian for eight years, I'd just like to put that out there. And um, something I really want to iterate is the fact I've actually been pescatarian during those eight years. And some people don't like to classify it as vegetarianism, purely because you're actually eating meat, because, you know, you're eating seafood. Something I really want to iterate is the fact that I never expected the Hodge twins to ever turn vegetarian. And I've got mad props to them for doing that. Because you always see them eating chicken and it really did shock the hell out of me, what can I say? And I think um, a lot of people are saying it's to do with the online community in regards to the vegans that put out videos. I really don't think it is, to be honest with you. I think it was when they were watching some of those videos in terms of how meat is actually, you know, processed. And the kind of suffering that animals actually have to go through for it to be, you know, the end product. And I think that that kind of shock value of those kinds of videos are what turned them into, you know, a meat-free diet apart from the seafood. And I'm not really sure why people are pescatarian, but I can still respect the fact that they, you know, they're taking the rest of the meat out of their diet. And by taking the rest of the meat out of your diet, you're in fact having less demands on those foods to be produced. And of course, therefore, it's less animals being slaughtered. Like I said in the last video, less demand less animals being slaughtered, still great lifestyle and I give them mad respect because I never expected them to you know be the bigger person and understand that this is just plain wrong and that they've now turned to that lifestyle apart from the seafood but I myself have been pescatarian so it'd be a bit hypocritical for me to say that it's easy to make that transition because it's not um, I, I did like seafood when I was pescatarian and I did eventually transition to vegetarianism where I just don't eat any meat so yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video just to give them mad props for what they're doing. You have my support. And the fact of the matter is they're going to face some hate from the people who eat meat in their subscriber base. I'm actually thinking of making the transition to lacto-vegetarian sometime in the future, but that wouldn't be any time soon. So I'd let you know once I transition to lacto-vegetarianism. But that's something I really want to address is mad props to everyone turning to um, a meat-free lifestyle or even pescatarianism. And uh, they have my support. If if anyone wants to transition, I can give you some diet plans for free in terms of getting your high protein vegetarian diet because I myself get around 150 to 200 grams of protein a day. So I myself have been able to cope with, you know, things that people suffer such as protein deficiency when looking at a vegetarian diet plan. Anyway, I figured I'd see you guys in that next video. I just want to give mad props to the Hodge Twins. Arm oh, shot before I go. I'll see you in that next video. Peace. This for the ones who ain't make it. This for the ones who ain't make it. Focus your lens. Point it at me and see greatness. Point it at me and see greatness. Rainy the beans. Don't need the all black Mercedes. Tezo need a